I have literally never been more excited to make a video about something than I am right now, and I am not kidding. If you know what's on my screen right now, then you probably already know why. Member Stack has just released an MCP server in beta. So, what does that mean if you don't know what an MCP server is? It means you can build a full-on web app with auth, payments, and a database without even touching your member stack dashboard. Yep, I'm not kidding. You're gonna watch me do it in this video and you're gonna be able to use this. So the links to everything you're seeing are at the link in the description below so you can follow along with everything that I'm doing and try this out for yourself. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first, I already have a folder on my computer over here and I have a terminal window open. So if you haven't vibe coded before, there's a link in the description to a video where I explain how to get started from scratch up to having a project set up with Claude code. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the Next.js boilerplate, which is my favorite way to start, link in the description as always. So I'm gonna name it the same thing that I had the folder on my computer name. Okay, that isn't working because I've already tried it before. So let's just go ahead and add a two to the end of it. So we're gonna create that. And in the meantime, we are gonna pop open Claude code in our terminal. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and continue to the dashboard and pop open the repository in GitHub. I'm gonna copy that URL, I'm gonna go to Claude Code, and I'm gonna say, I just made a new project from a boilerplate, copy the code into this folder and set the remote origin. All right, there we go, it is done. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna exit Claude Code because now we're gonna install a couple of MCPs. So new tab over here. First MCP we're gonna install, which I use all the time is the Shad CNUI MCP. Link is in the description to that. So just gonna go ahead and paste in that command for Claude code. And then of course, we're gonna install the member stack MCP server as well. Link to this is in the description below. There is a Claude code example right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. And I am going to paste it into this terminal window. So, all right, it says it was done. Now let's go ahead and open Claude code. So as you can see, it's saying you have new MCP servers, we're getting started. All right, there we go. So it's open and as you can see now, it is opening a new window here where I can select which app I want to authenticate. So just like this, I'm going to scroll down and select the app that I want to authenticate. And my recommendation to you is make sure you only have the app that you wanna work on authenticated. That way it doesn't go ahead and update other things because uh, obviously you don't want that. So MCP to do, that is the exact one right there. So authorization successful, I can go ahead and close this. Now you can see it says MCP server failed. So all I gotta do here is do slash MCP. We can see member stacks has failed and I'm gonna hit reconnect because now it's authenticated so I can just reconnect. As you can see, it's connected. So now I'm gonna just ask it. This is the first thing we're doing with. I'm gonna say, which app do you have access to? All right, so as you can see, it knows that it has access to the MCP to do app, which was created today. Wow, I have 127 total member stack apps. That is insane. All right, so anyways, this is working. Now let's go ahead and start up our dev server. So first I'm gonna run npm install just like that. And then I'm gonna run npm run dev. It's going to load for a second and then it is going to give me the dev server URL, localhost 3000, it's probably gonna be the same thing for you. So now we can see this open on my screen and that means we are officially in business, we are running and we can start our development. We have the MCPs done, we have the boilerplate up and running. Now it's time to get to it. So first things first, we need auth. And this is gonna be a to-do list app. So I'm gonna write a prompt right now telling Claude to turn this homepage here into a thing that says like to-do list and links to the auth pages and then build out the auth pages. And the way that I do this is using ShadCN blocks with default styling. You'll notice I always say in my prompts, ShadCN blocks with default styling. You'll see why. It just makes everything look a whole bunch better. There's a link as well in the description to a video where I explain why exactly I do that. All right, so let me write up my prompt.
All right, there we go. So it has done what I asked it to. It made this little homepage thing that links to the sign up and the login page. And this is what our sign up and login pages look like. They look pretty good if you ask me. Basic, but we're going to make them a bit prettier later on. So this looks great, but this is just the UI. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to tell it to make this work with member stack. So yes, we are going to have it set up authentication without me actually having to touch the member stack dashboard. It's crazy. Check this out. All right, there we go. So it says that it is now working with member stack. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to hit sign up and I'm just going to enter some stuff in here. There we go. All right. So it took me here. It's showing me a member ID and my email. So I suppose it is indeed working. Let's go over here and check members. And as we can see, it has created a member. So yes, I just one shotted my auth. Now, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to turn this into an actual to do list. So I'm going to let it know to build out that UI and to make it work using member stack data tables. And yes, I am about to one shot both the UI and the functionality at the same time. That is how insane this is. All right, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so it worked. One prompt followed by copying and pasting error codes into Claude code, fixed it up. We now have a working to-do list. So take a look at this. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna click add to-do and I'm gonna say like, go to the store and click create to-do. And as you can see, it gets created. So now if I go over here into member stack, first of all, it's created this data table. I mean, can we just take a second to think about how cool that is? And then I'm going to refresh. And as you're going to see, we now have the go to the store to-do list right there. Now I'm going to go back over here and I am going to hit check. As you can see, it's been updated. This just looks amazing. Now, if I go over here, go to the store, which is currently set to completed. No is now completed. Yes. Now, if I go back over here and I delete, go to the store and I go back to member stack and I refresh, as we can see, it is gone. So yes, we just got our entire functionality working with one prompt and a couple of back and forths about bugs. So just like that, we have auth and we have our functionality working. We've done, I, I haven't touched the member stack dashboard. I only went in to get the public key and send it to Claude. That's literally it. Okay. There's one more thing we need to do. And that one thing is typically a total pain when you're vibe coding and that is payments. So I want my mediocre to-do list app to be $5 a month and I don't want anyone to be able to use it unless they're paying $5 a month. So gated content and payments. I'm going to go ahead, close up Claude code and reopen it because you can see here it says context left until auto compact. We do not want it to auto compact. We want to gracefully end the conversation and start a new one. So I'm going to close up Claude code reopen Claude code. And then I'm just going to say, Hey, I want it to be $5 a month. Please make a paid plan and member stack and make it so no one can use the app unless they're paying $5 a month. I'm going to do that right now. We'll get back to you once we've got our payments done. All right. There we go. Yes, you are seeing this correctly. I'm going to go into the member stack dashboard right now and you just watched everything I did. We have the pro plan and it's $5 a month. We have here, I'm on an account that doesn't have it. So back again, if I go into member stack and I go to members, we can see this Julian at me, uh, doesn't have any plans associated with it. So it's showing me this. It's like, you need to upgrade. You cannot use this unless you upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and click upgrade. And yes, it is opening the Stripe checkout. It is that easy to add Stripe and to make your app payments work. Okay, now I'm going to do a quick test payment. All right, so we just did our test payment. And if I go over here now into member stack, as we can see, the pro plan is active. That means we just added payments to our app 
without touching member stack, with just a few simple prompts to Claude code. That is the most insane thing ever. Now, I just did another prompt telling it to redirect to the dashboard after payment because it took me to the home page and I don't want that, right? Okay, so now as we can see, it redirected me to the dashboard page. So this works. Let's go ahead and just test out adding something again. I'm just gonna say some random goo. There you go. We all got a goo every now and again. That sounds gross. Okay, anyways, check off goo. Goo is working. Gonna delete the pet a dog task. I wanna pet a cat instead. Okay, so take a look at that. Now I'm going to test this whole flow from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and hit log out. I'm gonna go to sign up. I'm just gonna write some random stuff in. All right, there we go. So I signed up and immediately it took me here to say, hey, you need to pay. So again, I'm gonna do a test payment. All right, so after the test payment, it took me to the dashboard right here. We can go into member stack. We can see that com has the pro plan. Yes, everything is working. How insane is that? And just one more time, let's go ahead and add a to-do and just write some random stuff into it for testing purposes. As we can see, it's right there. We just built this app with auth, with payments, and with a database. The timer on my clock right now is 30 minutes with waiting for Claude. That is how insane it is. And finally, I'm gonna give you one more thing. This looks nice, you know, this looks good. Uh, but it also looks very generic, right? So what I want to do is I want to just give it a better look. And what better way to do that than with Tweak CN? Link is in the description. Tweak CN is like themes for Shad CN. They have a bunch of super nice ones. So I'm going to go ahead and find one, for example, like this. This nice pink theme, Quantum Rose. I'm going to copy that code. I'm going to paste it in the Claude code. And I'm just going to say, hey, update my Shad CN theme to use this instead. All right, everyone, take a look at this. Without doing anything in the member stack dashboard, we got all of that set up. Now we have this beautiful pink theme. We are at 35 minutes on my clock. This is why I was so excited to show you this. This is literally life-changing. I spent 35 minutes on this and we have a beautiful, performant, well-working, and easy-to-manage to-do list app. Now, are you going to sell this app for $5 a month? Nobody's going to buy a basic to-do list app for $5 a month, but that's not the point of this video. You can build whatever you want to build. I spent 35 minutes. You should spend three hours. You should spend eight hours. You should spend a week and build whatever idea it is that you may have. You can seriously build anything that your mind can imagine with this using simple, plain English. This is going to unlock so many opportunities. I do not even know how to explain it. I am so excited that this is now in your hands. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you're building with this because I am so excited to see it. Have a great day and I hope you enjoyed.